And I'm going to head over this way. Let's try and get rid of this Demeter. All right, later, dude. What's up, everyone? Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video. Today, we are going to build up an amazing Fenrir. This is one of those robots that's pretty easy to get. If you don't have one, you definitely should, and most people probably do have one around. We're going to try and use weapons that most people can get easily today. So we got the Sinister Pulsars and the Redeemers. You don't have to have the Special Edition versions, but that's what we're using today. Even the normal ones work great. Now, when it comes to the modules, two repair amplifiers, a nuclear amplifier, and an advanced repair unit, or if you don't have those, two balanced units in the last stand would also be a very good choice here. Redeemer and Pulsar weapons, they are old school, but they pack a punch. They work great, so we're going to use those today. When it comes to the drone, we are going to throw a beak on here because the beak really makes Fenrir hard to take out. I believe you need one of those new upgrade tokens to unlock the last ability, which is on repair fix. Even if you don't have that, that's just fine. So upgrade it till you get the three abilities and stop before the last one. And this will still do a great job. The other drones I find pretty good would be Nebula and Paralysis. Paralysis is awesome. Beak is awesome. And Nebula is pretty decent. It's not the best one in the game anymore, but it works great if that's all you have. Let's go do some gameplay. You guys need to see this thing in action. Don't forget to like and subscribe, watch the entire video, and let's go do it to it. We'll go over the pilot skills after the video. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop him in as my first robot, and we are going to go to the center beacon. We are going to try and make sure those nasty enemies cannot take the center. We're going to grab it and try to hold it from them, right? We do not want those red guys to get it. One of the most important things is holding beacons, right? Like I made a video recently. Holding the beacon is more important than anything, right? Once you get it, you have to hold it. If you get it and run away, unfortunately, you're going to lose the game because the enemy is going to come take it, and whoever holds more beacons for the 51% of the game, basically, wins. So, you oh, there's a leech. We don't want to shoot the leech. If you're not familiar with the leech, when it attaches to you and you shoot it, it will steal all of your health. So, you don't want to do that. But watch how hard this Fenrir is to take down, right? They are not going to have an easy time beating me up. We are going to use our healing module. So between that drone and the healing module, this thing is going to stay alive for a long time. Fenrir has a huge amount of defense points. I mean, he is just a plain out beast. So what we're really looking for in this video is the amount of damage we're doing with these weapons and the amount of durability, how hard this thing is to kill. I mean, these are old school weapons, but look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's mothership that guy. The damage is amazing. We got locked down. I mean, the drone really helps us keep alive. The repair unit between the two things, this robot becomes almost unstoppable. There's a couple robots I'm really liking the beak drone on. I mean, the beak is the key here. Without the beak, it's not as good. Now, you can throw a nebula on here, right? You can throw a nebula. Everybody's probably got a nebula laying around. Most people who have been playing for a while probably have some beak drones laying around. So either one works, but the beak is really just... Come on, stop gravity crap -lifying me. The beak really just... Uh seem to be leaps and bounds ahead when it comes to this guy. Now there are some robots where like Armadillo or something else really just makes it shine, but I don't know, the, the beak on here just really does the Fenrir well. I'm pretty much dead. Oh my god, that's the lowest health I've ever had. <laughs> I don't think we're going to stay alive much longer, but this is Death Hey, it's a little Loki. Hello sir, let's see if we can shoot him. Nope, nope, he's going to get away. He's going to get away. Later little Loki. Alright, so I don't expect to survive much longer. Man, there it goes, right? There it goes. I will be making a video where I review the new Titan and all that stuff pretty soon. It, it's an odd Titan. Here, let's go throw this over here. Let's try and beat up this other Titan. But I will be doing a full review on this pretty soon. I'm still kind of getting a feel for this robot, but once I get a really get the hang of it and know what it's about completely, I will be doing a review on this Titan, these weapons, and the new repair amplifier modules. 4 million damage, 6 kills, 4 beacons. I will take it. I came in first place. Heck yes. Alright, let's go ahead and drop him in one more time. This is definitely one of my favorite first robots because I can usually get to a beacon somewhat quick. It looks like this time we just dropped into a team deathmatch. There is that metal madman fella. I know that guy. I know that guy. Metal, you're going down, sir. You're gonna go, you're gonna d d d d d die. Wait, they got a Demeter healing people. All right, let's move on over this way. I do kind of spam my power cells a lot, though. I ain't gonna lie. It takes power cells. It takes the healing module, plus all the other stuff to really stay alive for for a long time. 
Now, another drone that can be pretty good on here is the Paralysis. The Paralysis is a really good drone. The Beak is a really good drone. I mean, I like both of those a lot. Nebula is great if you don't have any of the other ones, so... Any of those work awesome. Any of those will be amazing, awesome guys. And I'm going to head over this way. Let's try and get rid of this Demeter. Alright, later, dude. I think I'm, a, I'm being a Moogied. Mr. Moogie, get off of here. If you notice, I'm, my grave damage is... Holy crap, I'm in a whole, like, swarm of these guys. I don't know what to call it. A swarm, a gaggle, a, a murder, a, a dingle-dangle. I don't know, but we are going to... Oh, crap, it's an angler. A dingle-dangler of enemies. Hello, metal madman. I told you I was going to shoot you in the butt. Wait, that's not the butt. Turn around. I need to shoot you in the butt. What am I talking I don't know, man. Too much coffee this morning. <laughs> Too much coffee this morning. All right, so he's gone that way. He's like, I'm going to retreat. There he is. Nope, nope, nope. Somebody's shooting me in the back. But yeah, I mean, I think this really makes the Fenrir last for a long time. These weapons, anybody can get these. They're very easy weapons to get for the most part. You can build them all in the workshop. They do very well. They do a lot of damage. So, yeah, this is just an all-around really fun and really good build. I mean, this just makes Fenrir awesome. If anybody doesn't like the Fenrir, there's got to be something wrong with you. Especially with this particular setup. Oh, Lord. No. Don't shoot us with that. Oh, it's Metal again. All right, Mr. Metal and your nasty Titan. What's he doing here? Have a mothership. Stop hitting me with those things, dude. That's rude. That's rude. I know when he sees this, he's going to be laughing his butt off. It's like 4.30 in the morning. What are you doing up, Metal Med Man? See, I couldn't sleep, so I got up to record some videos. All right, not bad. 7 million, 6 kills on a team deathmatch. That was a good game right there. They're inviting me to play, but unfortunately this account is owned by Pixonix, the Battle Wreck account, and I'm not allowed to squad with other people on this account. We can only play solo. All right, so first off, when building a pilot, you definitely want the Bernadette Wolf. That gives him 60% more durability. You lose the ability to use your Aegis Shield, but you get 60% more hit points. That is huge. You add that onto all the defense points that the Fenrir has, it's amazing. We got Mechanic. You can replace Mechanic with a different skill if you want, but I like Mechanic on the Fenrir. We got Tough Guy to give him more durability. We got Module Expert to make the modules last longer. We got Dodger that makes the, re the modules recharge faster. We got Adamant Roadhog. We got Armor Expert, and we got Roadhog. These are my favorite skills for this guy. I was looking around to see if there was any new skills or better skills to swap any of these out, and I'm telling you what, these ones work very good. There are a few defense point skills that look so good, that, but thing is, Fenrir's already got 50% defense points. So the way the defense points stack, adding extra defense points once you get over... You know, 50 is very a very small amount, and it barely does anything. So those skills aren't really that good on a robot that's already got a lot of the defense points. All right, I think that wraps this one up. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content. Down in the video's description, there's some ways to help support the channel, a bunch of links, game news, information, stuff you might want to see. Check that out. Plus, there's a thank you button or a join button down below the video to help support the channel. Anyways... Thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.